First, there was big oil, heavily relied on by big boys, big toys, and big business. Now, it seems that big gas is next, with scenes like this popping up all over the country, where companies drill for natural gas by fracturing the shale below the earth and extracting the natural gas from it. It's sold by many as the best option compared to coal and oil. Natural gas of those three is American. Most of our oil is imported now, over 65 percent of it. It's clean burning, so it's cleaner than either coal or oil. Uh, it's affordable. This is Lee Fuller of the Independent Petroleum Association of America, speaking on this panel at the Heritage Foundation to protect his industry and its huge profits from regulation and oversight. He says public disclosure of the toxic chemicals pumped into the earth will only lead to public misunderstanding and panic. People can be scared of chemicals. If you give them enough fear, they can be responsive to it. Fracking became exempt from the Federal Safe Drinking Water Act of the Energy Policy Act of 2005, largely with the help of then Vice President Dick Cheney, the former CEO of Halliburton, a corporation deeply involved in the fracking industry. Many lawmakers here on Capitol Hill have fought to try to get the fracking industry regulated, but time and time again they've faced fierce opposition from other lawmakers and lobbyists, in whose best interest it is to have those industry secrets kept hidden. To think that someone here in Washington knows better about what needs to be done in Pennsylvania or Colorado or Texas is a real tough sell. So why regulate this wonderful practice? especially when there's been so much talk about the shillionaires and others who have benefited from natural gas drilling. I've got the, a copy of the check here. Oh my, look at that, $434,000, just like that. And it fell out of the sky. But less has been said about the polluted drinking water of hundreds of other people, people like Pat Fernelli in Dimmick, Pennsylvania. This is a catastrophe. You know, we are basically living at ground zero for a catastrophe, and everyone is overlooking it because they're listening to the gas well companies who are saying everything's fine, this is great, we have a, such a wonderful opportunity, this is going to bring your depressed area jobs. Some residents save their water to show others what they're dealing with. Others say they can light it on fire. And in Louisiana, 17 cows grazing near a drilling site were found dead after the fracking fluid runoff got into their drinking water. The issue has raised red flags around the country. Some celebrities are even jumping on board to raise awareness of the dangers of fracking. Wow, nice clean water. Someone apparently didn't think actor Mark Ruffalo was doing it right. He just discovered he's been placed on a terror alert watch list after his actions caught the eye of the Pennsylvania Department of Homeland Security. All we're saying here in New York is like, hey, we're, you know, we don't have to do this here. And we can slow down and we can make sure that we do this right. A clue the government is involved too. So how much power does big business really have? When it's the oil and gas industry, it seems they will allow nothing to stand in the way of their quest for a freer hand and a quicker profit. In Washington, Christine Frizzau, RT.